Now, here's your pinpoint weather forecast with meteorologist Henry Grom. Well, we are tracking some showers moving through the mid Ohio Valley as we enter the first part of our afternoon. So it's going to be something to watch as we still track that threat for some strong to severe thunderstorms later on today. So we still do have that pinpoint yellow alert day for this afternoon and into our evening, still tracking the main threat being damaging winds. So why are we talking about the showers for our early afternoon? Well, that's going to have to do with the energy available in the atmosphere to help fire off additional storms later on today. So right now, Jandil Skycam sitting at 78, but that cloud cover not letting in much of that sunshine. And in fact, some of those showers off to our west around Athens, really, over the past hour, you've seen it all just disappearing along the Wood County border. So Parkersburg so far, haven't seen rain, could still see some over the next 30 minutes. But now we got some more thunderstorm activity further down towards the south. So we'll see how that plays out. But there's also clearing towards our west around the Dayton region. And then we have that cold front to help fire off some more thunderstorms later on today. So there's a lot of give or take here as we do have cooler air around central and southern Ohio at the moment. I mean, quite noticeable. 78 Parkersburg, 80 into Harrisville, 72 into Athens. But for now, we're still expecting temperatures to climb into the low to mid 80s later on today. So this is our current storm prediction center outlook. I do believe it may have been updated for the 1230 outlook. Don't remember off the top of my head, but so far still including all of the mid Ohio Valley. So we're still going to be looking at that threat for actually Yes, this is the new 1230 update because this little yellow area for hail wasn't in the last update. So up to date for now, still same threat, damaging winds up to 60 miles per hour and can't rule out that isolated hail threat too, up to quarter size in fact. So some models we look at, most of the time the graph, we're ditching that for now since it really hasn't been updated to account for the showers moving in right now. The HRRR has, and it's still allowing for that chance for thunderstorms to develop this afternoon and move into the Middle Ohio Valley, but really doesn't look that convincing at the moment. Really everything falling apart by times it gets into our neck of the woods, but we'll still even see that threat for showers and some thunderstorms overnight tonight. Then we move into our Thursday. No severe weather there. We're going to be looking at cloud cover, a bit of some showers in the morning, but then more thunderstorms along another cold front that will be pushing through Thursday night. And then we do start to dry out moving into our Friday with a stray shower still possible later on. But moving into the Memorial Day holiday weekend, that humidity sticking around, making it feel like summer as it should memorial day is the unofficial start to summer and with that that means showers and thunderstorms will be possible haley 